All right, let me show you behind this bush right here. You'll see that the wooden slats for this railing are in very poor repair. Also notice that the railings are right into the cement block pillars here. And then they applied some mortar to them after they were inserted in there. Same as on the other side and everywhere it comes in contact with these pillars. Now I'm removing these railings and as you can see I've already started. The railing is completely removed on the right side and I'm going to show you how easy it is to take these out. This is the same way an interior railing would work. You pop up the little spacer and then the slat or baluster could easily be knocked out or removed. In this case, we are not reusing these. I am not rebuilding these. We are going to put vinyl railings onto this porch. And so all this wood is just going to be disposed of. And it's as simple as that. Paper. Someone shoved paper in there.
shims. <laughs> I got to apologize to you. I have to mute this in several areas because the neighbors next to this house are either mowing the lawn, using leaf blowers, or blasting music. And if YouTube picks up on the song that the neighbors are blasting, they will give me a copyright infringement strike. And I can't afford to have that on the channel. So I apologize. I've got background music playing and I let you hear the sound effects of what's going on in real time when I can. Uh, if their music is too loud or I hear it being played in the video, I have to mask it so that I don't get this copyright strike. So here I am scraping this top column on top of this concrete block pillar. And we're gonna cover these pillars. We're gonna make them look like the new millennium pillars not the 1950s pillars that you see here today. We will be changing that. So here I am scraping the paint off. I'm going to fill these with exterior spackle, sand them down so that they're nice and smooth. We'll paint them and then we'll add some trim to it and give it a little bit of depth. It'll look absolutely amazing when we are done or when I'm done, you're just watching, right? <laughs> Okay, so this portion here is because I want you to see how lumpy and nasty these columns are. They've been painted over, cracked, chipped off, repainted over for probably 60 years. So I want you to take a visual memory, visual image of what they look like and what they look like when I am done. When you're scraping paint, you really only scrape off what's loose. That leaves a ridge, makes it so that if you paint over it, you're gonna see those lines. And that's why I'm gonna use exterior spackle and fill them in. That's the only way, even sanding won't help. It's the only way to make them look good. The most tedious job that you could ever get involved in is scraping paint. Now, on this side of the home here, I'm using a handheld spatula type uh, trowel scraper. Uh, they do make some very rigid scrapers that you could use, but I don't want to create divots in the wood. So you're better off using something that's a little more gentle on it. And then sanding like I'm doing now, sanding it after you scrape it. This is way up. Nobody's going to see what this looks like from the road. You'd have to climb a ladder to see just how smooth it is. And as long as you do a good job scraping and sanding it, you should be fine. Things that are at eye level are a little bit more important to smooth out. So I'm going to use an electronic um, AC-powered scraper on the metal siding. But here I am. I'm going to go across the whole entire porch and... This is the end of part one. I will show you part two in another video. I want to thank you for tuning in. If you like videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. And if you do, hit the little bell and you'll be notified when I upload the other ones. So have a great day. Thank you.